Hey, what's up guys? It's Vince Del Monte here. And in this video, we are gonna give you a brand new at home shoulder and arm workout. If you wanna build your delts, you wanna build your arms, we are gonna give you a killer workout. And as a bonus, you're gonna learn business building principles that are in direct correlation to building your body as well. So lesson number one is the devil is in the details. The details matter, all right? Just like when you're trying to build your body, we're going through a hypertrophy-based workout here. If you're trying to build your delts, the little details matter, right? It's not about how many reps you do, it's how well you do them. There's a quality factor to everything you do. It's not just quantity, quantity, quantity. It's how well are you writing the post, making the call to action? How well are you taking the photo? All right, those details matter. Just like in the gym, how you move the weights, that matters to build muscle. How you create your content, that matters too. Coming around, you were cueing us, subtle little details are making such a huge difference in the movement and the quality of that movement upon executing it. Lesson number two is that you have to concentrate on what matters. What matters most right now? All right, so in the gym, if we look at building, say your side delts, a very small specific body part that gives you that you know, V taper look, that requires a concentration, a focus. If you wanna build your side delts, you gotta lock everything else down. You gotta focus, focus, focus. One body part at a time. We build our body based on the weak links, right? When we build that body up, then we can shift focus to another body part. It's called specialization training. Same thing in business, right? You can't be building your podcast and your uh, Instagram and your Facebook and your uh, clubhouse all at the same time. You have to focus one platform at a time. You've got to find the one thing and train it and see if it develops before you move to something else. If everything's moving, you don't know what's working. Community. Community is king, all right? These events change lives. Why do events change lives? Because one, you get around people just like you. You are able to smash through limiting beliefs because you hear stories of other students that struggled the same way you're struggling and they smash through, they persisted. It's so crucial for you to get creative and proactive and figure out how can you connect with other people so that you're not a lone wolf. And you all know the story about the lone wolf. They always uh, die out in the cold by themselves. Fourth lesson is you need a plan. Failing to plan is planning to fail. So again, going back to having a strategy, right? You're not just gonna post content blindly. You might post a Twitter post and a selfie post. You need to have a plan. You're not just showing up and posting content and writing captions and just hoping something works. That's the equivalent of going to the gym and just swinging weights around, hoping that your muscles catch something and that they end up growing. No, you have to have a plan and it has to be structured and it has to be progressive. We don't try and build the whole physique in 12 weeks, we build it in phases. And you have to know, you know exactly how we build in this building, if you will. It's having a, a nice laid out plan and then you follow it to a T and then you kind of you go from there. And then finally, know when enough is enough. This is the value of a coach, right? Sometimes the coach's job is just to prevent the athlete from getting injured and preventing the athlete from doing 
too much, right? And saying, hey, this is enough, go home now. So same thing in business. A lot of people will burn out, they do too much, and then they end up broke. So we have to prevent burnout, all right? So knowing when's enough enough. Hey, after three sets, hey, I could do a fourth or fifth. No, don't worry, three sets is sufficient. All right, and having somebody being able to tell you three sets is sufficient, you don't need to do a fourth set. You don't need to do a fifth set. So that's the power of having a coach. And then finally, we got a bonus one here. This is all about making it fun. If it's not fun, if you're not connecting, you're not celebrating your wins, what's the point? This is all about becoming the best version of ourselves. In the process, yes, we'll hit milestones and metrics and all that good stuff, but if we miss the point of setting goals, which is to discover what we're capable of, yeah, you're gonna get easily discouraged. So make sure you're having fun in the valleys and on the mountaintops, and that's pretty much it. Hey, I hope this video was super helpful for you. If you're loving Muscle Camp with a little spin, adding business building principles, incorporation with bodybuilding principles, let me know in the comments below. If you want any help building your business, go to callwithvince.ca. There's a link in the description, which will take you to an application page if you wanna see if you're a good fit for one of our high level coaching programs to start, grow, or scale your online fitness business. And until then, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and we will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.